Broadcasting from Slough. Ooh, yeah. Streaming around the world. This is Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. Playing the music you want to hear. The podcast. Atom Radio. Hello and welcome to Drive Time Podcast episode 111. Here we are, getting towards the end of November now. Also heading towards the end of, if you believe what the government says, lockdown two. Yeah, we're more than halfway there now. Although we learned this week that for a possible five days of relaxed restrictions over Christmas, we would have to trade 25 further days of lockdown two. Mentioned this a couple of weeks back on the show. We've had lockdown. We've now got lockdown two, the return. It does look like lockdown three, the revenge, may be coming up. And I don't like the sound of that. Genuinely don't. Podcast this week will feature star signs, how mumbo jumbo they are, uh, clever cheating, spelling confusion, and snowflake censorship. All that and more over the next few minutes on the podcast. Get yourself a cup of tea, get yourself a beer, do whatever you want. Just enjoy the podcast. Can we guess your zodiac sign with astounding accuracy, it says here, by choosing a food in every colour? So red, we've got strawberries, red velvet cake, gummy hearts, and cherries i wouldn't eat any of those but i'm gonna go with strawberries because i like strawberry cream sweets uh salmon uh oranges carrots or peaches for orange food i'm gonna go with oranges from that yellow bananas fries corn or cheese Blah, cheese i'll go fries uh green food lettuce cucumbers avocado or apples again i wouldn't really eat any of those but apples if i had to for blue blueberries blue cheese blue corn tortilla chips or blackberries There's actually nothing in there that I would eat, but I'm going to have to pick one. So which would I least? Uh, I'll go Blackberry uh, because I had a phone. Uh, Pick some purple food, eggplant, cabbage, grapes or onions. I'll go onions, I guess. Uh, Something pink is the final one. Pink grapefruit, cotton candy, strawberry donuts or lychees, cotton candy. Uh, You are an earth sign, either Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. 100% wrong. I am none of those at all. So no, you can't then, based on what I eat, you cannot predict my star sign based on what I eat with astounding accuracy. Rubbish. Mark Denham, Denham. Now, there is a story which broke this morning, which I want to know... Well, no, I'm not encouraging illegal behavior. Before we go any further, I'm not encouraging legal behavior. Let me tell you the story, then I'll tell you what I want to know. And then we're all clear and above board. It's alleged that a police officer in uh, Wisbech in... I don't know how you say that. My friend lives there. Wisbech? Wisbech? I don't know. Anyway, uh, what I want to know... Well, I'll tell you the story, right? A police officer allegedly tried to buy a box of Krispy Kreme donuts, 12 of them, for £9.95, which in itself, in my opinion, is robbery, but we won't get into that. He picked up the box after entering the store in uniform while on duty. He then, it is alleged, went to the weight scales in the fruit and veg section, printing off a barcode for carrots to the value of 7 pence. It's alleged then that he tried to buy the, well, in fact, scan the donuts worth nine ninety five, dollars uh, and paid £7 because he'd covered it with this barcode that says that they were £7. So that's the allegation, right? He's got a real bargain there by breaking the law. Uh, what he's done is he's gone in, he's picked something up, he's gone and printed a cheaper barcode himself, stuck it over it and then taken it to the self-scan. And uh, the guy could actually face dismissal for this. The uh, papers say his alleged breach of professional standards is so serious dismissal would be justified. Now, obviously, that is entirely 100% illegal. But I want to know from you, what are the biggest legally acquired bargains 
that you've ever managed to achieve while you're out shopping okay so uh 9.95 to seven pence if it wasn't illegal would be an amazing bargain but sadly for pc simon reed it's illegal he now faces a misconduct hearing what is the best bargain you have ever got legally while you're out shopping on air at atomradio.co.uk drop me your skype as well and we can get hold of you we can get you on the show as well all right so on air at atomradio.co.uk the best bargain you have ever legally got mark denham denham government today going to announce or maybe have announced today that they are going to announce so an announcement of an announcement that they're going to announce whether or not households can mix around christmas uh, i'm assuming therefore covid19 has put in its festive annual leave request form and has done so correctly and had it signed off by its manager to allow households to mix for five days over christmas can't see anything that could go wrong there, can you? Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. Imagine waking up this morning, as did I, only to find that People magazine has clearly spelled my name wrong. Uh, my name, Mark J. Denham, that's D-E-N-H-O-L-M, appears to have been spelled incorrectly as Michael B. Jordan. Mark Denham, Denham. I just need to clarify something. When I was talking about which reunion I like, and I said my friends, I mean my actual friends, my mates. I'm not talking about the TV show. Couldn't really care less about TV reunions. I just quite like a reunion with my mates after the 2020 that we've had so far. Yeah! Mark Denham, Denham. Radio. I know it's only November. I know it's the 20th, a month and five days to go. But it was announced yesterday by the BBC that they will be censoring Fairy Tale of New York this year. Uh, Radio 1, which is designed at the Young'uns, uh, that will be playing a version which has certain words censored. Radio 2, which is uh, aimed at slightly older people, will be having the uh, original uncensored version. Okay, so this was announced yesterday by the BBC and some people are up in arms about it. I will tell you uh, that I'm playing no Christmas music on this radio station, all right, uh, until we get to Christmas time. But the BBC have decided the Radio 1 will avoid the words faggot and slut, which are in the songs. You scumbag, you maggot, you cheap, lousy faggot. Uh, and also, uh, you're an old slut and junk, an old slut on junk even. Uh, that will be missing from the Radio 1 version, but not from the Radio 2 version, because people who listen to that are said to be older and therefore can have it. All right. Now, on Atom Radio, I will not be censoring that song. It will play at Christmas time as it was recorded Am I right or are the BBC right to do what they've done with Radio 1 and censor it out? Like, you don't need to worry because you're not going to hear it for a while yet because it's only the 20th of November. Am I right or am I wrong? The fairy tale of New York song by the Pogues and the late Kirsty McColl. Leave it as it is and play it or censor it and give in to the snowflake generation that's my question mark denham on atom radio talking about this song then fairy tale of new york the bbc have announced they will censor it ian says very very wrong uh emma says wrong that's what the song is amy says wrong um I don't really know quite how you say this. Luella uh, also says that the song is... The song is as it should be, given that it was an 80s song, and that's how things were in the 80s, right? Now, the BBC have said that they're going to replace it with um, with other lyrics, right? So I'm thinking, you scumbag, you maggot, you cheap, lousy... What word rhymes? It's, it's a tricky issue, isn't it? What word rhymes with you scumbag, you maggot, you cheap, lousy? I don't know. I'm actually stuck and I know quite a lot of words. Atomradio.co.uk Right, I've had time to think about that now. You scumbag, you maggot, you cheap, lousy. I still can't think of a word. <laughs> 
that rhymes with maggot that's not the one that the snowflakes are apparently complaining is too offensive. Like that song's been around since 1987. We have this debate every year. And usually common sense prevails. In all the years that I have been DJing, all the years I've been on the radio, I have never ever censored that song and I will never ever censor that song. And to be honest, I don't really even like that song. But I know a lot of people do, therefore we will play it here on Atom Radio in its entirety with all of the words. None of them will be missing. Thank you so much for checking out, though, episode 111 of the Drive Time podcast. Next week, we will be able to give to you episode 112. And isn't that exciting in itself? You can subscribe and you'll get notified as soon as it drops. Otherwise, follow the social media, Atom Radio UK, on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram. Penultimate week of lockdown two. If you believe the government is coming up, keep yourself safe. See you Monday afternoon at three. Atom Radio. Oh, yeah. Playing the music you want to hear. Check out the show back on Monday on atomradio.co.uk. And don't forget you can subscribe on iTunes, on Spotify, and on Google as well. Keep yourself well. Atom Radio.